Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. The video is finally out. You guys have been harassing me about this for so long. Um, why is it that your mother decides your bodybuilding potential, how jacked you can get? By the way, rest in peace, Ronnie Coleman's mother. She passed away years ago. But as you can see, she was pretty jacked as well. And I want to explain in this video exactly why, whether you're natural or enhanced, why is it that your mother plays the biggest role in how jacked you can get? But first of all, before we start, remember all the roles that testosterone plays in the human body guys you gotta remember that for you to understand this video the effects that testosterone has on your ability to build muscle obviously increasing protein synthesis kick-starting dna transcription and also the roles that it has in dna translation via the mTOR pathway the role that it has on your ability to lose fat on your recovery your bone density increasing your strength your energy levels your motivation and aggression your overall mood and feeling a well-being, your glycogen replenishment rate, and obviously your sex drive, your blood flow, your red blood cells, blah, blah, blah. All of these things, all of these things that testosterone is extremely important for is mainly mediated by the androgen receptor, right? The testosterone receptor, whatever you want to call it, right? So everyone has the backwards. Everyone thinks that's testosterone. That's the most important thing. It's really the androgen receptor, right? Testosterone's effects are mainly mediated by binding to the androgen receptor. Obviously, testosterone has some other non-genomic effects, but they pale in comparison to what it actually does once it activates the androgen receptor, translocates to the nucleus, and starts DNA transcription of all of the genes that affect the things that we just talked about. So long story short, without the androgen receptor, testosterone is almost useless in the human body. Now, obviously, it can convert to estrogen and affect the estrogen receptor better, just like ecdysterone and tercysterone, and it can also activate G-protein size and things like that but for the purpose of this video we're going to focus on the main effects that it has by the androgen receptor and that's because if you go back to my crazy detective chart here the androgen receptor is at the center of almost every anabolic pathway in the body i mean it is insane the role that this one gene plays in your adaptations to training after myostatin it is by far the most important gene for muscle growth in fact it regulates myostatin by increasing your IGF-1 receptor and your phyllostatin. But I'm gonna try my best to keep this video simple and in layman terms. Also, study after study after study has confirmed this. I'm gonna post some of the links in the description. You can check them out if you're a nerd like me and you just love to read scientific articles. But the research is also clear. Out of all of the things that correlate with muscle growth, nothing, and I mean nothing, is more important than your androgen receptor. Not even the amount of testosterone you have in your blood itself. Now, if you want, I can make a video about all the specific studies one at a time. I have dozens of them. Um, for example, in this one, obviously, you have the higher responders on the left side, low responders on the right. And as you can see here, baseline, before the training program even began, the higher responders already had extremely high androgen receptor content, whereas the low responders were down here before the training program even started. And obviously, after the training program, same thing. Another study showed the exact same thing, right? The change in androgen receptor content from before and after training, huge correlation with the actual gains from the protocol. Another study, same thing, same correlation, more androgen receptor content, all sensitivity, more gains. This study here, same thing. That's the famous study that I've mentioned in nucleus overload all the time. Higher responders, people who grow really fast from training, even at baseline, even before they start training, already have high amount of satellite cells and myonuclei. And of course, the androgen receptor is in and around the myonuclei. So the more myonuclei you have, the more androgen receptors, therefore the higher your sensitivity to training, which is the whole point of nucleus overload anyway. Increasing your myonuclei, therefore increasing the amount of androgen receptors, therefore increasing the amount of DNA transcription sites for muscle protein synthesis. And even if you look at elite bodybuilders who are on all the drugs in the world, every single anabolic steroid right there, especially the top ones, the top 10, work through the androgen receptor. Obviously, they have other pathways, like I mentioned earlier, competing with cortisol, lowering protein breakdown, increasing phylostyne, whatever, but that main mechanism of action is through the androgen receptor. So that goes with all the testosterone derivatives, androgen receptor, dynabol, androgen receptor, all the 19 all derivatives, so that's DECA, you know, all the nendrolone derivatives, trying all that stuff, androgen receptor, all the DHT derivatives, so your anavol, your winstrol, your masteron, your, your superdrol, all of the DHT compounds, again, androgen receptor, and even IGF-1 peptides need the androgen receptor to work simply because the androgen receptor codes for the IGF-1 receptor. So once again, whether you're natty or enhanced, 
You can't escape it. The AR is at the bottom of everything. Even if you decide to use Psalms, once again, what do you guys think Psalms mean? Selective androgen receptor modulators, working through the androgen receptor. Also, if you watch my video on black genetics, I explained this a million times. Black people are one of the most androgen sensitive people on the planet, on average, of course, right? They have very, very, very high androgen receptor sensitivity, which makes it extremely easy for them to put on muscle, along with the other factors that I mentioned in the video. Go back and watch it so I don't have to repeat everything here. They have very, very short androgen receptor repeat lengths, right? Which obviously makes their AR very sensitive. So one, even if they're natural, they have a high end response to training on average. And if they do decide to hop on the juice, even with very, very low doses, they're able to make ridiculous gains. Whereas if you have low androgen receptor sensitivity, you have to use a lot more drugs at much higher dosages in order to get the same response, which is obviously more dangerous and will get you busted anyway. As you can see here, blacks have the highest androgen receptor sensitivity, whites and Hispanics are somewhere in the middle, and some East Asian populations and also some South Asian populations have very low androgen receptor sensitivity, which is not always a bad thing because once again, you guys remember, there's always a trade-off, right? If you're very good at something, that always comes with a trade-off. The trade-off being prostate cancer, of course, with black people also having the highest incidences of prostate cancer simply because the androgen receptor is way too sensitive. There are other factors involved as well, but the androgen receptor sensitivity is one of the biggest reasons. And as you can see, Asians have very low incidences of prostate cancer partially due to their low sensitivity, right? So there's always a trade-off. High AR sensitivity, more gains, hyper responder to steroids, but also very high chances of getting prostate cancer. And if you remember in this study, I made a video about that, a group that took gosarelin, which obviously black sugar and adotropin releasing hormone, got shit gains. They actually gained fat from training, whereas the placebo group obviously lost fat, right? So they gained fat instead of losing fat. They didn't gain as much strength. And they obviously didn't gain as much muscle because the testosterone levels were crushed to the ground as well as the free testosterone levels. So the only thing that was able to activate the androgen receptor was obviously the small amount of testosterone that your adrenal glands produce. It's the same thing in rodent studies, right? Same thing with rats, mice, whatever, right? This one, for example, the group that was treated with exendolone, which is obviously an androgen receptor blocker, look at the difference in gains, right? Same training protocol huge reduction in gains. So you could train all you want, you could progressively overload all you want, you could eat, you could do everything that is recommended to build muscle, but if your androgen receptor is not being activated, you are fucked. And once again, another study here, same thing, gains from resistance training were impaired and gains from endurance training were impaired. In this group, they actually took flutamide, which is another androgen receptor blocker. So long story short, hopefully you now see how important the androgen receptor is. Now, what does your mom have to do with that? Well, I mapped out all of the genes that have the biggest effects on hypertrophy. You guys know I'm a nerd. I love doing shit like that in my spare time. I fucking love the human body, and I do nerdy shit like this all the time. But anyway, here are all of the genes that are very crucial for hypertrophy. And look, obviously you guys have 23 chromosomes, two copies of each gene, blah, blah, blah. You should know this by now. And look where the androgen receptor is, chromosome X. So unlike every other gene that is important for hypertrophy, right, that you have two copies of, one from your mom, one from your dad, the androgen receptor, unfortunately, if you're a guy, by the way, not, not if you're a woman, if you're a guy, you only have one copy of, and it's on chromosome fucking X, as you can see here. And sure enough, if you're a guy, who do you get chromosome X from? Your mother. So if your mother has a fucked up androgen receptor or extremely long androgen receptor repeat lengths, right? Meaning your androgen receptor is not very sensitive. You are fucked because you do not have a second copy, just like all the other genes, right? From your father, right? Because remember, your dad only gives you the Y chromosome if you're a boy. So he does not give you his, uh, his X chromosome. So if your dad has amazing genetics for bodybuilding, very sensitive androgen receptor, all of that good shit, if you're a girl, good, right? He's going to give you one half. If you're a boy, you are fucked. You're only getting his Y chromosome. Fathers pass on the X chromosome to their daughters and the Y chromosome to their sons. Which is why, if you notice, guys who have really, really, really good genetics, their mom, right, obviously if they're trained, because obviously if your mom doesn't train, she's not going to know that she has good genetics. But guys who have really good bodybuilding genetics, when their mom trains, they put on gains like fucking crazy relative to other women, right? And it is that X chromosome that hopefully your mother passes on to you. Unless you're extremely unlucky and she has one fucked up copy of the X chromosome and she gives you the fucked up one and keeps the other one. But I digress. But anyway, guys, 
that's it. If you have great genetics for bodybuilding, for building muscle, you're a hyper responder. Thank your mother. If you have shit genetics for bodybuilding, there are still things you can do, right? You can remember, you can increase the amount of androgen receptors. So even if they're not very sensitive, just increasing the sheer amount of them is going to help you leverage them to the best of your abilities. I can make a separate video on all the different ways to increase the amount of androgen receptors or the androgen receptor density of your body. Uh, but obviously the main method is always going to be the same. Nucleus fucking overload. Increase the amount of myonuclei, increase the amount of satellite cells in the muscle, and you will indirectly increase the amount of androgen receptors. But anyway, guys, hope this video helps. See you in the comment section. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.